Oh, right, as you can tell by the title, we are here. We're back again for another transfer video today. It is a big one as we're going to be talking about the rumours that Ibu Torre is on his way to the race course. So early this morning, I woke up to the news that has came out of social media that Wrexham are planning a bid and are interested in Gambian left back and current Salford left back Ibu Torre. These rumours have come from the Football League world and chad.co.uk. I'm not sure how reliable, reliable they are, but we can only find out. So yeah, before we get any further, make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like. Let's try and smash 50 likes on today's video, that'd be much appreciated. And let's get into some more detail. So Ibu Torre, uh, he's been a key player for the Amis over the past few years. He is their longest serving player. And could he seek a big move away from them to the race course? Uh, once he returns from AFCON, the African Cup of Nations, he could potentially have a new club. Torre, no doubtably, is one of Salford's best ever left backs. He's been at the club since 2017. I think he's got like two promotions with them now, and he's consistent, he's a hard worker. And he's worked his way up. And some Wrexham fans watching this, you might remember, you might not. But Torre did actually play for Real FC in the 15-16 season after he was at Chester. Um, but he sort of made his way up from Real to Salford where he is now. Now this signing is totally depending on whether Gary Bowyer, the Salford manager, wants to let his key left back go. Does he want to lose him? But I'm sure... If Wrexham offer a good contract and a good amount of money, Salford could say no to the money and just try and offer him a better contract. It's so, it's the battle of the takeovers here. I'm not too sure because it's not like Salford are a club with any financial back and they've got massive financial back. Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but they're not doing too well. So could Torre want a bigger move away and want a new challenge? If Torre did put pen to paper for the Reds, would this mean Hassana would be dropped from his left wing back spot? Or will he move uh, Bryce to the right hand side to play right wing back and then put Torre left wing back? But then again, this means Hall Johnson gets dropped. Now, I think either way, it's harsh to drop any of those two, Hassana or Hall Johnson, because they've been two important players. Obviously, Hall Johnson's been struck with a bad injury this season, so he hasn't been able to show his full potential like he did last season. But. Yeah, like I said, it'd be harsh to drop either of those. But then again, you've got to think whether Parkinson is happy with those two. Does he think Torre is levels above them? Do they think uh, Hassan or Hull Johnson is League 2 material? Does he want to form a team that he knows is proven in League 2? Because obviously Hassan has come up through the ranks in Leeds United. He's not really played men's football. Um, Hull Johnson sort of has proved himself it's clear that our ambitions are absolutely huge and this signing would be a massive statement of intent bringing Torre uh, to the race course from a league above from a club like Salford that have massive ambition for him just to leave in like a click of a finger um, it clearly shows that we are we've got the backing to go out and get good players a couple of names have come out rumoured Dom Telford's been out Freddie Ladapo people are saying might be joining I don't it wasn't true uh, I don't think it was just people talking about him but there's been a couple of names in the last 48 hours that have been rumoured then again money does talk when you've got the backing of two Hollywood stars um, I reckon Torre would probably be one of our highest paid players and I'm sure he'd be a really good signing you've got to remember as well if Ibu did join Rex and then at least he'd be able to play in front of a crowd of more than 2,000 and away following more than 200. So yeah, that is it. We talked about Ibu Torre. Could he join the Reds or will he stay at Salford until the end of the season? Um, also as well, I think Joe Sabar, I've got some news. Um, apparently, some people are saying he's in negotiations with signing a contract at Wrexham and then other fans are hinting that he's staying at Solihull so we don't know the latest updates on that I'm hoping that we can that it's the neg negotiations on and we can get him in the club so yeah that is it could Ibu Torre seek a move to the race course ground at the end of January once he returns from playing for Gambia at the AFCON um, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell on and yeah that is another transfer video 
how many more of these will I have to make? <laughs>